the eye. Hundreds of thousands of people have signed a petition to expand meningitis vaccination after a two-year-old family posted graphic pictures of her during treatment. Metro Radioactive materials have been stolen in Iraq with fears IS could get their hands on them and create a dirty bomb. The Daily Express says an extra 200,000 EU workers arrive in Britain last year. The Daily Mail The increase in EU workers means there are now 2 million of them in the UK and including non-EU nationals, the total is 3 million, according to the Daily Mail. The Times says David Cameron is under more pressure to win reforms over migrants' benefits following the increase. The Daily Telegraph, the Prime Minister, has been warned there is no guarantee that EU leaders will agree a new deal for the UK in Europe at the crucial Brussels summit. The Guardian, papers today's headlines, Cameron set for a battle of brickmanship. The Daily Mirror, the Mirror says a teenager who lost all four limbs to meningitis was told to prove his disability or lose his benefits. The Independent, the proportion of students from poor backgrounds going to leading universities has fallen in the last 10 years despite millions spent trying to change the situation. The Daily Star has a story about Madeleine McCain's siblings and their secret torment. Financial Times says Fed policymakers have warned over increasing risk to the US economy amid market turmoil in China and tumbling commodity prices.